I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to uh, welcome to the stage Rear Admiral uh, Pillay from the uh, South African Navy. Uh, Admiral Pillay will be making opening remarks as the outgoing Chair of IOMS. Sir. Uh, thank you, Commodore. He said it's going to be a great session and hopefully we'll do just that. Senator, the Honourable Michaela Cash, who I understand might have left due to previous engagements or other engagements. Chief of the Australian Navy, Vice Admiral Griggs. Chiefs of Navies and Coast Guards and other related maritime organisations, heads of delegations, distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm indeed delighted to be here in Perth this morning representing the outgoing Chair of IONS, Vice Admiral Modema, the Chief of the South African Navy. Delighted because I've had the opportunity to represent the South African Navy at IONS 2010 held in the UAE being part of the organizing committee and the program director for IONS 2012 held at the Cape Town International Convention Center. And delighted to be here this morning in Perth, Western Australia. Admiral Medimo sends his warmest regards, appreciation for the support he has received during his tenure as chair of IONS the past two years, and extends his very best wishes to Admiral Griggs and the Royal Australian Navy for IONS 2014. For the South African delegation, it is indeed a pleasure to be in Perth, the host city, for this iteration of the symposium, and amongst this august gathering who are committed to pursue the ideals of this fledgling organization. Since the inaugural meeting of IONS in India in 2008, we, the navies and maritime security agencies of the Indian Ocean, and further abroad, have met in the UAE and in South Africa to promote constructive engagement focused on issues of regional maritime security and cooperation in the maritime domain. We come to Australia to further enhance the relationships that have developed and to strengthen the ties that bind us. Over the past six years, many opportunities have arisen to discuss and develop a common understanding of the issues relevant to this vast ocean area that we share. Furthermore, we have confirmed the common aspirations of those present to make it safe and secure for the benefit of all nations. The symposium here in Australia provides yet another opportunity to focus our attention on stability and security in the Indian Ocean Room. Moving then from this common understanding of cooperating and sustaining effective action to achieve greater cooperation and ultimately a safer and more secure Indian Ocean our ever provides a challenge. We are aware of this, but what can be done? Our knowledge and understanding of the issues and the need for cooperation has increased substantively since the inception of IONS. The activities under the auspices of IONS, such as, and in particular, the operational workshops, the essay competitions, and the introduction of the IONS journal, the Ionosphere, have contributed in part to the pursuing and furthering of the goals of IONS. Admiral Medimo has asked that we extend a warm word of thanks to the Indian Navy in particular for hosting the operational workshop in Mumbai last year. The discussions, as I understand, were most stimulating. According to Captain Peter Eldon, who's sitting here this morning, the company excellent and the arrangements of the highest order. The first and second editions of the Ionosphere were also released on Admiral Medimo's watch. This very professionally published newsletter aimed at sharing ideas, stimulating debate, and sharing information that enhances our understanding of our shared maritime space. If we were to achieve anything meaningful, however, it is the way that we use our newfound knowledge to go beyond continually defining the challenges to seeking and implementing solutions. Admiral Medimo trusts that the draft charter of business that will be proposed at the meeting of the Conclave of Chiefs later this week will enable future chairs to set a course to achieve concrete objectives and move irons into the uncharted waters that it must survey. Admiral Medema has also requested me to thank all members of irons for their support during his tenure as chief of irons. And today, as I, as I hand over the chairmanship of irons, symbolized by the telescope to Admiral Griggs and the Australian Navy, let me assure him and the South African Navy of our continued support ensuring that irons grows from strength to strength. Thank you.